Hello students, welcome to this lecture of surface area and volume. So, as we studied in the previous lecture surface areas of different combination of solids. Here in this lecture we are going to study about volume of combination of solids and the solids which we are dealing with are the same solids which we dealt with in the previous lecture. So, first we know the individual volume of the solids. First figure which we introduce to you is cuboid. If a cuboid has a given length, breadth and height, this is L, this is B, this is H, then the volume of this cuboid, this is a cuboid, this volume is equal to length into breadth into height. Here there is a specific case, if we take length, breadth and height all equal, then this volume, uh, this cuboid actually becomes a cube and this cube will have a volume equal to length is also of side A, breadth is also of side A and height is also of side A. So, A into A into A is A cube, this is the volume of the cube. Next we study the cylinder. When we talk about the volume of the cylinder, we say that the cylinder which is having a radius R, so this is cylinder having radius R and height H, then its volume comes out to be pi r square h. This all we did in class 9th also students. So, pi r square h is the volume of the cylinder. Similarly, if we take a sphere, a sphere is again a figure which is like this and in this sphere if we have a radius equal to r, then the volume of the sphere is given as 4 by 3 pi r cube. So, as we studied in surface area, there was mostly two surface area, curved surface area and total surface area. Here there is no such case, volume means volume, that is the whole volume which is contained by that container. Now, if it is a hemisphere, then in that case, this is the radius r, its volume will be 2 by 3 pi r cube, that is actually half of 4 by 3 pi r cube. The sphere has this volume, so hemisphere is half of its volume. Next we have cone. So, in order to find the volume of the cone, we should be having its radius and height. So, we have a cone like this, its radius is given r, this base is a circular base, its height is given h and you can also find its slant height l root over r square plus h square. So, what will be its volume? It will be 1 by 3 pi r square into h, this is the volume of the cone. So, this is a cone. Now, let us see few questions based on combination of solids. So, first question says that a student was given to form a particular shape of object and that shape is cylindrical whereas, two end are adjoint with a conical part. So, the figure is being made by the student which is a cylindrical and end of this cylindrical part is attached by two cones, this end also and this end. So, this is a conical part, this is a conical part and this part is a cylindrical part. Now, in this figure the dimension which was asked for by the teacher to the student to make is that this whole figure is having a length 12 centimeter and the conical part has height is equal to 2 centimeter, each conical path is having a height 2 centimeter. Further it is given that the diameter of this cylinder is 3 centimeter, which is also the diameter of the base of the cone, either of the cone. Then asked to the student, what is the volume of the air contained in this container? What is the volume of the air in this? So, volume of the air in this is actually the volume of this whole figure. So, what is the volume? It is made up of actually three parts, cone 1, so, volume of cone 1, then from here to here it is a cylinder, so volume of cylinder plus volume of this cone which is cone 2. So, these three volumes we have to add that will be the volume of the this solid figure. So, volume of this cone is actually 1 by 3 pi r square h, so radius will be half of 3 that is 1.5 square Okay, students, and height is of this cone is 2 centimeter. So, this is actually what we have written here is 1 by 3 pi r square h. What is the volume of the cylinder? So, cylinder is from here to here, 
its volume we take as pi r square h dash its height is different so 1 by 3 radius is same pi 1.5 square into h dash which is the height of this cylinder is 12 minus 2 minus 2 that is 12 minus 4 that is 8 so this will be 8 and volume of the cone 2 this cone is not this cone and cone same yeah both have the same height and same diameter of the base so we can say that this cone and this cone add up and we can write the addition of these two volumes as twice of the volume of any one cone so this plus this is twice of this now we have to find its value so let us see this is equal to 2 into 1 by 3 pi so this is 2 by 3 pi into 2 that is 4 by 3 pi 4 by 3 pi is 22 by 7 into 1.5 square is 2.25 plus here it is 1 by 3 into 8 so uh, and this is 22 by 7 so we write it as 22 by 7 multiplied with 8 by 3 multiplied with 1.5 square that is 2.25 so what we can do here let us take something common 22 by 7 is common and 2.25 is common 22 by 7 and 2.25 we have common 4 by 3 plus 8 by 3 will become 12 by 3 that is actually 4 so we can write it as 4 now 2.25 into 4 is 9 so 9 into 22 by 7 and further we will calculate and get the answer okay students right next we take another question next question also deals with combination of solids so we have a vessel conical vessel so it is in a shop shape of a cone in which water is filled to the top okay and this is open from the top its dimension is given height of the cone is 8 centimeter and further uh, it is given that the radius of the base of the cone is 5 centimeter these two things are given to here it is further given that uh, there are lead shots many lead shots which are being inserted or dipped into this vessel so when you insert these lead shots into this vessel since the water is filled to the top for water will spill out okay so suppose we have dropped some n number of lead shots suppose we have dropped here n number of lead shots so the volume of the water which will spill out it is given that 1 by 4th of volume of water spills out when we put this lead shots in it n lead shots and it is also given that the radius of these lead shots is equal to 0 0.5 centimeter so these are spherical lead shots of radius 0 0.5 centimeter so you have to find how many lead shots have we dipped into this vessel so first you have to understand this is a conical vessel filled it with water to the top its height is given 8 centimeter its radius is given 5 centimeter there are n lead shots and they are being dipped into this water after dipping these n lead shots what we observe that the water which comes out of this vessel fall out of this vessel is one fourth of the total volume of the water then you have to find how many lead shots we have inserted where radius of a lead shot is equal to 0 0.5 centimeter so first we find the volume of water initially that is basically the volume of the vessel and since it is a cone this will be 1 by 3 pi r square h so 1 by 3 pi is 22 by 7 and r square will be 5 square and h will be equal to 8 this is what we are having so this is volume of the cone initially now volume of the cone volume of water is spilled out if we want to find the volume of water is spilled out we know that the 1 by 4 of volume of water has spilled out so 1 by 4th of this is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 5 square into 8 now this volume of water let us also uh, calculate some part of it 
4 into 2 is 8 and we can write 22 into 2 as 44 into 5 square is 25 upon 3 into 7 is 21. So, it is 44 into 25 upon 21 centimeter is cube. This is the volume of the water which has spilled out. Now, how does this volume of water spill out? Because of the lead shots which is dipped into it. So, lead shot, one lead shot, uh, lead shot has a volume. So, we will find volume of one lead shot. So, lead shot is spherical in nature. So, we will say it is 4 by 3 pi r dash cube where r dash is the radius of the lead shot. So, this will become 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 and r dash is 0 0.5 centimeter. So, 0 0.5 cube. Now, volume of n lead shots, volume of n lead shots is equal to, we will multiply with n. So, 22 into 4 is 88 by 21 into 0.5 cube will be 0 0.125 into n that is the number of lead shots. But we have to understand here that the volume of the lead shots dipped into the water or the vessel is equal to the volume of the water spilled out. So, both of these volumes are equal. So, what we will say that 44 into 25 upon 21 is equal to 88 upon 21 into 0 0.125 into n. So, let us cancel 21 both the sides and 44 2 times is 88. So, this will become 25 is equal to 0.125 into 2 is 0.25 n. So, this implies n is equal to 25 upon 0.25 that is equal to 100. So, how many number of lead shots do we have to dip into that vessel? That is 100 lead shots. Then only we will say that the volume of the water which has spilled out is actually one fourth of the total volume of the water and that is equal to the volume of the n lead shots which are spherical in nature. So, combination of solids may have this type of question also. Let us take one more question of combination of solids of volume. There is a cuboidal, uh, you can say a pen stand. So, there is a cuboidal pen stand and in this pen stand there are small conical spaces made to insert the pen. So, this is a cuboidal pen stand which is made up of wood and there are four spaces which are conical in shape to insert the pen in it. So, we put the pen here like this in this four gaps, four pens and this is a cuboidal wooden figure. Its length, breadth and height is given, length, breadth and height of this cuboidal figure is already given to us, which is equal to 15 centimeter is the length and 10 centimeter is the breadth and 3.5 centimeter is the height. Okay, students, this is what is given about the cuboid. Now, the conical part which is there is also have some dimension and that dimension is equal to radius is equal to 0 0.5 centimeter of the base of the cone and the height of this conical is 1.4 centimeter. So, you have to find the volume of the wood used to make it. So, we will subtract the volume uh, which are being uh, occupied by these four conical portions. So, the total volume if we ignore this conical portion, we take this as a perfect cuboid, then in that case its total volume is length into breadth into height 15 into 10 into 3.5 that is 15 into 35. Okay, students. This will become equal to 15 into 35 is 350 plus uh, 175 that will become 350 plus 525. This is 525. Now, this is the total volume of this wooden cuboid if there was no gap in between. Now, volume of one conical portion 
is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h. So, we will write it 1 by 3 into 22 by 7. R square is the square of the radius that is 0.5 square into height and height is 1.4 centimeter. So, we will write it as 0.5 square is 0.25, it will become 22 into 0.25 into 1.4 divided by 7 into 3 21 and we can further calculate it as 7 3 is 21 and 7 0 0.2 is 1.4. So, we can further write it like this and we can also say that this becomes equal to 0.25 into 0.2 will become 0 0.05. So, this will become 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 into 22 is 110 that will become 1.1 by 3. So, this is what we are getting here 1.1 by 3. So, the effective volume of uh, this part wooden part which we have to use is equal to this volume which was 525 the volume of the cuboid minus the volume of this conical portion that is 1.1 by 3. But we have to multiply with 4 because we have how many cones? There are 4 conical portions. We took the volume of 1 conical portion that was 1.1 by 3. So, 4 conical portions will be 1.1 by 3 into 4. So, this will be 525 minus 4.4 by 3. This will be 525 minus 313, 34, 12, 6 and 7. So, we can say almost 525 minus 1.47 which is equal to 523.53 centimeter cube. So, we have this answer. So, this is the volume of the wood used in order to make ignoring that any wood has been lost in the process. So, this is how we find the combination of solids and its volumes. So, if we see these two lectures in the first lecture we dealt with the surface area of the combination of solids. In this lecture, we dealt with volume of the combination of solids. So, we will see few more applications, few more type of questions in the fewer classes. We will study one more type of solid in fewer, some few lectures that was frustum. Okay, student. Thank you for now.